Good with head coach Megan Jebby, a gritty win, but a win nonetheless over High Point at home. Can you just talk about what the team did today? Uh, yeah, I would say a slow start. Um, I was really happy to see in the fourth quarter we were able to put up some baskets, whether it was the free throw line or just buckets. Um, it made me feel a little bit better. Um, but with the slow start, we just need to be ready to play defense. Um, and we kind of did. But I think offensively we were completely out of sync uh, for most of the game. And so it's really hard to get back in sync when you've been out for three quarters. We kind of generated some offense, like I said, towards that fourth quarter. But um, and it could be youth. It could be who knows. I mean, I don't know at this point what happened. I'm trying to ask the team what happened, and they're not really sure. But I think it's just, you know, it could be just the, the opponent. So we'll see. What does it mean to you that such a young team was able to overcome like that mental break? I mean, that's a, that's a really good step for us. We keep talking about that this year's team is a, is a growth process because we have so many young people playing uh, significant minutes. I mean, Lauren Stack played, I think, 25 minutes, and that's most she's played all year. And I thought she did a decent job on the defensive end. So it was nice to see her length kind of bother them a little bit, and she could slide, and she's pretty quick. So that was nice. Um, we got to build on it, though, right? I mean, we don't want to have too many of these games, um, but if they're if if they all end up in W's, then I'm okay with it. But I just think we need to see ourselves get better. Um, and I don't know how much better we got today. I just think we found a way to win. And then you spoke on that defensive performance a little bit. Obviously, High Point's a very perimeter-focused team. How were you able to stop them tonight? Yeah, we basically talked a lot in timeouts about most of the shots they were making were threes. They weren't drives to the rim. They weren't paint shots or things like that. So we were trying to close out hard on the three-point shot. And I think we had a couple blocks. I think Indy blocked a shot, Jade blocked a shot. And they just we just told them to sell out because um, that's what those kids want to do. So I thought that, that was helpful because it was in that time where we were making a little bit of a run. So, um, yeah, that's basically what we talked about. And now, you know, you're the road for a few games. Um, can you just talk about what you're looking for in the next few days before you go out to George Mason? Yeah, I think we have a lot to work on offensively after this. It's, we've been talking at length about our defense, and they only scored, what, 48 points. So now I'm going to talk about our offense and how we can score more. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, the, the next couple opponents are really good teams. Um, so we're going to have to find a way to kind of compete with them and find ways to get easier baskets. Um, if we're able to do that, I think we can compete. But... Uh, foul trouble really hurt us in the first half, and I think the adjustment of just how the officials were calling the game threw us a little bit, because um, the last two games it seems like they were letting us play a little bit more. So, and every every game is going to be different. You have a different crew, so you got to figure that out. Great. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks.